Minister for Karamoja Affairs Mary Great Kitutu and her brother-in-law Michael Naboya Kitutu again appeared at the anti-corruption court after spending the last five nights in Luzira prisons where they were remanded. Last week Kitutu applied for bail through her lawyers who argued that she was of advanced age and suffers from a heart condition. She presented four sureties who included her husband George Kitutu, former MP Simon Mulongo, and Mbale North Division MP Seth Wambede. However, Magistrate Joanna Chiro ruled that only Wambede met the requirements and others had not shown any proof of their income in order for them to qualify to stand surety in a case of this nature. Last week, the court issued criminal summons for Joshua Abaho, a senior secretary in the ministry, after he failed to turn up. Abaho is accused of two counts of corruption, where he allegedly diverted 14,500 iron sheets knowing they were meant for the Karamoja Community Empowerment Program. Paul Kutesa, who represented Abaho, told court that he had an emergency to attend to and was not aware of such summons. His wife on that day had got a miscarriage and was in serious had a serious health challenge, was admitted in high dependence unit at Nakasero Hospital. He's the sole person who has been attending to her. Meanwhile, Naboya, represented by the minister's legal team, applied for bail and asked court to allow him to return to his home in Situmi village, in Amisindwa district, to take care of his family. Economic undertaking is, he is a subsistent farmer. He owns customary land, four acres. There is no, he has no conviction. He has never been involved in any case whatsoever. The anti-corruption court will on Friday hear the bail application for Kitutu, where they will be concluding with the sureties she wants to present. Those are two, whether they will be found substantive enough to grant her bail or not. And then the brother-in-law, that is Waboya Michael Kitutu, will also be appearing before the same court on the 27th, where a decision will be made on whether he'll be granted bail or not after he presented two sureties. Sudilbi Arhanga, NTV, Kololo.